This story is like a wild ride through the mind of an all-round intellectual exploring art, big ideas, and even a little mischief. The kind of story that keeps you on your toes and leaves you wanting more. Let's get straight to the point. Muccia Prada, the queen of Italian fashion, one of the biggest fashion icons out there today. Not only does she run a massive company that's worth over 3 billion euros, but she's also the driving force behind the famous Prada and Miu Miu brands. And get this, in 2005, the Wall Street Journal even named her one of the 50 most influential women in the world. So why is Muccia Prada so amazing? Well, for starters, she's known for her incredible designs that blend classic elegance with a modern flair. She's always pushing the boundaries and coming up with fresh, innovative ideas that keep fashion lovers on the edge of their seats. But it's not just about the clothes. Muccia Prada is a true visionary who's not afraid to take risks and make bold statements. As a girl, she dreamed of becoming an actress and even rocked trendy Yves Saint Laurent clothes while taking part in student protests. Fast forward to today and she, along with her husband, Patrizio Bertelli, has taken her family's business and turned it into an incredible empire. The Prada universe has got everything a fashion lover could ever dream of. From stylish women's clothing to trendy men's outfits and even cool accessories, shoes, fragrances, and eyewear. And the best part? Every year their collections just keep getting better and better, pushing the boundaries of fashion and taking it to a whole new level. In 2000, Muccia Prada was awarded an honorary doctorate from the Royal College of Arts in London. It was for her continuous experimentation with materials and her innovative approach to aesthetics. Quite impressive. But wait, it gets even better. In 2015, Muccia received the title of Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic. This award recognizes her outstanding contributions to the fashion industry, and it's a huge deal. And here's something else you might find interesting. Muccia is not just a fashion designer, she's also passionate about contemporary art. Now, to understand how this poor girl became the queen of Italian fashion, you have to hear her story. Let's start from the beginning and take a look at her biography. It all started back in 1913 when two brothers, Martino and Mario Prada, Mutia Prada's grandfather, opened up shop in the super fancy Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II, right near the Piazza del Duomo. They sold all sorts of leather goods like bags, trunks, steamers, and travel accessories. The quality of their products was so amazing that even the Italian royal house took notice. They made Prada their official supplier in 1919. With the royal house as their client, Prada was able to add the House of Savoy's coat of arms to their logo, which put them on the map. Aristocrats started taking notice and Prada's reputation became a high-end brand. There's more to the story of Prada that's pretty fascinating. Back in the day, Mario Prada, who was running the show, had a traditional way of thinking. He believed that women should only work at home and that they didn't belong in the workplace. So he didn't let his female family members work for his company. But here's where it gets ironic. Mario's only son had no interest in the family business at all. So who took over the reins of the company? His daughter, Luisa Prada. That's right. She became her father's successor and ran the business for almost two decades before handing over the reins of the company to her own daughter, Muccia Prada. Now this began the birth of Prada as we know it. Muccia Prada, born Maria Bianchi, was born in Milan on May 10, 1948. She studied at the Giovanni Burchette Classical High School in Milan and then graduated in 1971 in political science. Those were the years of political protests and the future stylists joined the Communist Party, alternating student demonstrations with rehearsals at the Piccolo Teatro in Milan, where she studied mime and acting. Her journey in the fashion world began in 1975, where she became an accessories designer for the brand. Her first design, the nylon bag, was super cool because it was made for people who felt like they didn't fit in with the fancy crowd. And get this, the nylon bag was made with nylon fabric, which was unique and unexpected at the time. People went crazy for it and it became super popular for the brand. It's still popular to this day. Back in 1977, Muccia Prada met a guy named Patrizio Bertelli. He was a young Italian with his own leather goods business, and he joined forces with Muccia at the Prada family business and brought his business smarts to the table. 
With Mucia and Patrizio leading the way, they chartered a course that eventually made Prada one of the top fashion houses in the entire world, capable of keeping up with mega brands like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and Gucci. The Prada logo, which is an upside-down triangle, was inverted way back in the early 1980s. It's been a huge part of the brand's identity ever since. And did you know that Prada was way ahead of its time when it came to using high-tech materials like nylon for bags? They were doing it way back in the 80s, and surprisingly, those nylon bags are still super popular today. In 1983, Prada debuted its first shoe collection, and six years later, in 1989, they released their first women's prate a porte collection. Although the debut clothing line wasn't exactly a hit with the critics, that didn't stop Prada from pushing forward and becoming the iconic brand it is today. Muccia Prada's fashion is unique because it takes all the chaos and disorder of the modern world and turns it into something super cultured and amazing. She's not just into fashion, she's also super passionate about architecture, philosophy, and art. And she doesn't follow any rules or schemes. Instead, she likes to bring together opposites and create something new and innovative. When you think of the Prada brand, you think of avant-garde style and attention to detail. Mucia's creativity and intellect shine through in everything she does. Her fashion is not just about the product, it's about experimenting and pushing boundaries. She uses codes that go beyond trends, and her work is a point of reference for anyone who wants to do something different and daring. The Launch of Mew Mew In 1993, Mucia Prada founded Mew Mew, and now it's a superstar on the Parisian catwalks. Their style is unique. It's irreverent, elegant, and sensual all at the same time. They're all about accessories and footwear with shoe sculptures, fancy embroidered velvet slippers, and huge bags with braided handles. And in 1997, Patrizio Bertelli, now Mucia's husband, decided to sponsor the 2000 America's Cup in New Zealand. The decision was made in support of the launch of Prada Sport, a new line that continues in the company's ongoing exploration of materials. In addition, the company made its debut in beauty and eyewear in 2000. The group's production takes place in about 21 company-owned factories, in addition to research and development laboratories. All phases of the production process are directly controlled, including the selection and purchase of materials, the creation of prototypes, and the coordination of internal and external production. Distribution of their products reaches over 70 countries. Mucia Prada's Idea of Fashion Mucia's not your average fashion designer. She's an intellectual, an art lover, and a feminist. She doesn't buy into the usual stereotypes of what makes a woman beautiful. She thinks there's more to it than just wearing a fancy evening gown. According to Mucia, what you wear is how you present yourself to the world, and fashion is an instantaneous language. She's all about pushing the boundaries of traditional fashion and using art as a tool to reflect on everyday life and changing relationship dynamics. Mucia is not afraid to tackle big issues either. She believes that there's still a lot to learn from postmodernism and that we haven't fully understood the limits and errors of modernity. She's interested in art that helps her face the world and make us all think about the world we live in. So forget the cliches and stereotypes. Mucia Prada is the real deal. A modern patron of the arts, a feminist icon, and a visionary fashion designer. She's not just changing the fashion world, She's changing the way we think about ourselves and the world around us. The company continues to be led by Mucia Prada and her husband, Patrizio Bertelli, who serves as CEO.